Hey again, guys, welcome back. So we got a busy day uh, ahead of us planned. So Sunday, Robert Stroman let me borrow his trailer and I went out and picked up the parts truck. So we got the parts truck for the gold truck to get it back going. So this is another 2500 HD Silverado. We'll be getting the motor and trans and stuff out of that on a later video. But I gotta get back hooked up to the trailer and everything to the big white truck. Um, we're gonna be heading out to Justin Boyer's and we're gonna be picking up a Beretta drag car for Robert to drop off at his house. So let me go ahead and get back up to the trailer and hooked up and uh, we'll get moving. So we got it on the trailer now. Got it all strapped down, ready to go. She's rocking a four nine inch four lane with strange double adjustables underneath the back with wheel wood brakes on the back. Um, skinnies up front with our rack and pinion steering and aerospace front brakes. Um, got Kirky seats, this one's unmounted right now, but it's got a new pad and everything there with the driver's Kirky. Still factory dash door panels with the hand roll up windows and everything. So everything looks nice and done very well. But we're going to get it back to the uh, shop and then we'll go through it in more detail once we're there. We are back at the shop. Got the car unloaded and off the trailer. Sorry I didn't get a lot of footage. We had to get a lot done. Uh, I didn't even get the gold truck here. As you see, it's still an empty spot there. I was not able to get the Silverado uh, today because it already got dark and pretty late by the time we made it back with this one. But yeah, this is uh, the car right here. So we can look at it a little more now that it's in the shop and we got plenty of light in here. But yeah, basically what it is, it's old Beretta. And like I said, still got the full dash and everything with the gauges and all that. Now obviously the factory gauges don't work whatever, but you got the aftermarket tank and your coolant and oil pressure down there. Uh, you got a Kirky seat, so you got a new cover for the passenger seat and you gotta get it into the floor. Uh, obviously tubbed and everything in the back, back here. And yeah, so this is what we're working with. We just, I told him we'll just put it in my shop and that way it'd just be more content for you guys. Uh, we plan just to drop a small block Chevy in here. Currently it doesn't have a motor or trans in it. So we'll go ahead and pop the hood and let you see how it's set up in the front. Yeah, so uh, comes with the header. So you left the driver's side header in there. Passenger side headers in the trunk. Also got the front motor plates. It was already set up for a small block Chevy. So we got the front motor plate and the mid plate to go in there to mount it. Uh, yeah, so it's obviously steering, rack and pinion. That's something we gotta fix on this. It's got bad bump steer. The angle of the tie rods with the lower control arm and stuff are way off, so it has a lot of bump steer. So that's something we're gonna have to get straightened out. But uh, yeah, brakes and everything's functioning. Got strange uh, front spindles with, uh, air, like I said, airspace front brakes, American Racing uh, rims and some skinnies up in the front. Then we got a narrow nine inch in the back with a 15 inch tall, 15 inch wide rim. 
currently with a 28 inch by 10 and a half inch tire. And it, with the tub in there, it's got room for a lot bigger tire. Uh, this is just what's, he's just running a small 28 inch on it at the moment. And they're stretched real wide on this 15 inch rim. So again, this is a all steel body car. Even still has the steel back bumper reinforcements. But he said, it, even though it is all steel, that it weighed 2750 with him in it. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Uh, we'll go pick up the gold truck tomorrow and then we'll get into the little, the gold truck and the parts truck out there. But I'm in this video on this. So yeah, this will be another build. You'll see us whipping together with a small block uh, Chevy and a turbo 350 and hopefully maybe run maybe mid sixes with it if we're lucky. Uh, we've got a 3500 converter on top of the car ready to go. It's uh, Robert Stroman's car. He's already got the motor. He just wants to go through, check it over and clean it up. And he's got a trans that he wants to have gone through and check it up. And then they'll all be going in here and we'll be doing it right here in this shop to try to get footage for you guys. So again, guys, thank you for following me on the channel and stay tuned for more content.